Welcome back freshwater fishing novices new viewers. I'm kind of excited to make this video. Now I have a problem. I went out fishing, 40 degree air temp, the water was frigid. I was out for about four hours and then I was sitting on my kayak and I'm like, is this thing leaning to the left? Got to the shore, pulled it up, felt a little heavy. I opened the hatch just to check it and this is what I found. So not really ideal. There's a metric ton of water, which led me to believe that there's a hole in the kayak somewhere. So I brought it home, drained it. The next day, I pulled the seat off, I flipped it over, investigated, found the hole, sanded it down, cleaned the area with uh, rubbing alcohol and a cloth, heated it up with a heat gun, and now this is what it looks like. So, it's no bueno. Well, that's not gonna hold any water. You might be saying, how did that happen to my kayak? It wasn't from dragging it a ton. This happened over two years. And in two years of just loading and unloading it, this is what's happened to the keel. I think it's the keel. Right in the front of the boat. Now I need to patch it. I'm going to need needle nose pliers, a skill saw, a heat gun, and last but not least, plastic to put in that hole. What you're going to want to use is, this looks like a five gallon pickle bucket lid or a paint bucket lid. It is. I'm using this piece of plastic right here. And the reason I am is because the kayak is made up of the same type of plastic. Here it's a, it's a recycling number two. The type of plastic is HDPE. If you're wondering, you can always just look for that little triangle on the two. And you need the same kind of plastic so it molds together. I'm going to trim this out with the skill saw. I'm gonna cut this down probably into like a couple different sections. I'm hoping this much plastic will be enough to plug that hole. Let's go switch to the other cameras and we'll start screwing around. So aside of the sandpaper, gloves, all the other tools I mentioned already, the other thing you're gonna need is one of these acrylic uh, screwdrivers, flathead, doesn't matter. You're gonna, we're gonna be using it to kind of push in the plastic into this. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. Well, I'm gonna put gloves on because I don't wanna burn myself if I don't have to. So we got our heat gun. We'll just turn that on high. Maybe I should have put my other glove on first. That was probably not smart. So I got my plastic on there, my patch. But this side, you can't see from this camera. With this camera, you can probably see. It's really bumped out on this side, and it's not on this side. So I'm gonna try to even that out. Heavy grit sandpaper really wasn't cutting it down. So I went and picked up, it's called the pocket plane, but it's a rasp. Uh-oh, let's see what happens. shaped it down right up quick. 80 grit. Let's 
All right, now we're gonna heat it up with a heat gun. All right. So I think my end goal here, what I was, I didn't know I was doing, but I was doing. I wanted to shape it more, but I wanted to get it as smooth as possible. So I still have these little pockets. By sanding them and then heating them up, I reduce the pockets. The next time I go to sand it, it's gonna eliminate these little pockets, these heat pockets. Hopefully it will be completely smooth. I might have to sand it multiple times, but that's what I'm gonna do until this is completely, probably smoother than the boat. See what happens. shaped a little better looks better than it did yesterday right down a little bit so it's a little bit more streamlined I want to take my time on this I don't want to rush it it's December 6 51 52 degrees 10 to 15 mile an hour winds on the pond really what I'm testing is the waterproofness of my kayak after I patched a hole let's go inspect the inside of this kayak on shore and see if it's taken any water on in the last two something hours let's go check it all right let's see if i took any water on well, there's a little bit of water in there okay if we can see my little plug but I think I'm gonna drop some plastic on the inside as opposed to the outside but I'm trying to put more plastic right in there 